metabolic pathways. Metabolism is a term that refers to the integration of all chemical reactions occurring within the living cell. It starts with nutrients brought in from the environment and the ultimate product is the new cell. It is divided into two parts. Number one, catabolism, which refers to those metabolic reactions that break down the nutrients serving as the cell's energy source. And number two, anabolism, which defines those metabolic reactions that are involved in biosynthesis of new cellular materials and use the energy provided by catabolism. Catabolic pathways are exergonic, that is, they yield energy in the form of ATP, are oxidative, that is, some reactions remove electrons but save this high energy electrons for later use for reducing NAD plus or NADP plus. Catabolic pathways produce intermediates required for anabolic reactions and the final product of N reaction is excreted as CO2 or organic acids or neutral compounds etc. Anabolic pathways are endoconic, that is, they require energy and this is frequently supplied by the hydrolysis of ATP. These pathways are reductive. They begin with intermediates produced by catabolism to form building blocks and these building blocks are then used to biosynthesize new cellular material like lipids, protein, nucleic acid, etc. Catabolism is integrated with anabolism in three major ways. Number one, ATPs produced in catabolism is used to drive anabolic pathways. Number two, the electrons removed during oxidative catabolism are used to support anabolic pathways. And number three, the intermediates produced during catabolism are used to start anabolic pathways. There are two major types of catabolism, fermentation and respiration. Fermentative catabolism. Pasteur described fermentation as life without air. Fermentative catabolism is carried out by most bacteria and fungi growing in anaerobic environment such as rumen or gut or deep within the infective tissue. Fermentative catabolism show two common characteristics. Number one, small amount of ATP are formed by the process known as substrate level phosphorylation. And number two, organic intermediates of fermentative catabolism serve as the cell's terminal electron acceptor and the reduced organic product is released into the surrounding medium. Fermentative catabolic pathway include EMP pathway. When one molecule of glucose is oxidized to two molecules of pyruvate, the cell uses two ATPs for each glucose molecule oxidized. These cells, to compensate their inefficiency, oxidize great quantities of their energy source. Catabolic intermediate serve as the cell's terminal electron acceptor and the reduced organic product is excreted into the surrounding medium. The fermentative production of lactic acid from sugars by EMP pathway and the excretion of large quantities of lactic acid are characteristic of lactic acid bacteria. These are taxonomically placed in the following genera. Leconostoc, Pediococcus, and Lactobacillus. Yeast, when under anaerobic conditions, convert glucose to pyruvic acid via the glycolysis. Then go one step further, converting pyruvic acid into ethanol, a two-carbon compound. 
many organisms will also ferment pyruvic acid into other chemicals such as lactic acid humans ferment lactic acid in muscle when oxygen becomes depleted this lactic acid causes the muscle stiffness after beginning of heavy exercise Similar catabolic characteristics from fermenting sugars are found in most other fermentations. Although exact metabolic pathways used and catabolic intermediate reduced and excreted vary widely. Respiratory catabolism. Respiratory catabolism has some common characteristics. Number one. Large quantities of ATP are formed and most of them are produced by oxidative phosphorylation. Some proportion is also produced by substrate level phosphorylation as in fermentation. Number 2. Inorganic compounds are transported into the cell and used as terminal electron acceptor and the reduced inorganic products are excreted into surrounding medium. And number 3. Many more reduced electron carriers like NADH2 or NADPH2 are formed than fermentative catabolism. Respiring microorganisms usually use one or more pathways of the catabolism of glucose to acetyl core. These include the Amden Meerhof Parnas pathway. The Antner Toldrop pathway, the hexose monophosphate pathway. In many cases, microbes seem to use either HMP or the ED pathway along with HMP to meet the cell's needs. EMP pathway, or also known as glycolysis. It is a metabolic pathway that is found in the cytoplasm of cells in all living organisms. In anaerobic or doesn't require oxygen. It is essentially identical to fermentation by the lactic acid bacteria with one exception that is pyruvate is not reduced and excreted as lactic acid. The pyruvate is oxidized further to acetyl-CoA which in turn enters the TCA cycle. When one glucose molecule is oxidized by the EMP pathway to acetyl-CoA, the following compounds are formed. Four molecules of ATP but two are used up in the formation of glucose 1,6-diphosphate. So the net gain is the two molecule of ATP, four molecules of NADH2, two molecules of CO2 and two molecules of acetyl-CoA. The overall reaction of EMP can be expressed as glucose plus two NAD plus plus two phosphate plus two ADP gives 2 pyruvate plus 2 NADH plus 2 ATP plus 2 hydrogen electron uh, proton plus 2 H2. Oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate. The pyruvate is oxidized to acetyl-CoA and CO2 by the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. This PDC is a cluster of enzymes located in the mitochondria of eukaryotic cell and in the cytosol of prokaryotes. In the process, one molecule of NADH is formed for pyruvate oxidized and three molecules of ATP are formed for each molecule of pyruvate. This step is also known as link reaction as it links glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. Citric acid cycle 
It is also known as tricarboxylic acid cycle, the Krebs cycle, or more rarely, the Sinskyorke Krebs cycle. It is a series of enzyme-catalyzed chemical reactions of central importance in all living cells that use oxygen as a part of cellular respiration. In eukaryotes, the citric acid cycle occurs in the matrix of the mitochondrion. The components and the reaction of the citric acid cycle were established by Albert Sainz-Georgi and Hans Krebs. In aerobic organisms, the citric acid cycle is the part of a metabolic pathway involved in the conversion of carbohydrates, fats and proteins into carbon dioxide and water to generate a form of usable energy. When oxygen is present, the acetyl-CoA is produced from the pyruvate molecule created from glycolysis. This acetyl-CoA is formed can undergo either aerobic or anaerobic respiration. In the presence of oxygen, acetyl-CoA molecule then enters Krebs cycle inside the mitochondrial matrix. The citric acid cycle is an eight-step process involving eight different enzymes. Throughout the entire cycle, acetyl-CoA changes into citrate, then isocitrate, then alpha-ketoglutrate, then succinyl-CoA, then succinate, fumarate, malate, and finally oxaloacetate. The net energy gain from one cycle is 3-NADH. 1 FADH and 1 ATP. Thus, the total amount of energy yield from one whole glucose molecule, that is 2 pyruvate molecule, is 6 NADH plus 2 FADH and 2 ATP. The steps involved in TCA cycle is summarized in the table given below. The theoretical yield of total ATP molecule is 36 or 38. Although there is a theoretical yield of 36 to 38 ATP molecules per glucose during cellular respiration, such conditions are generally not realized due to losses, such as the cost of moving pyruvate from glycolysis, phosphate and ATP, that is substrates of ATP synthesis, into the mitochondria. All are actively transported using carriers that utilize the stored energy in the proton electrochemical gradient. Antner Dolgrov pathway. The ED pathway describes an alternate series of reactions that catabolize glucose to pyruvate. It was first reported in 1952 by Michael Dolgrov and Nathan Enter. Now, its extinct feature of the Entner Dodrov pathway are that it occurs only in prokaryotes, uses 6 phosphogluconate dehydrase and 2 keto 3 deoxyglucose phosphate aldolase to create pyruvates from glucose has a net yield of 1 ATP for every glucose molecule processed as well as 1 NADH and 1 NADPH. There are a few bacteria which may lack enzymes essential for glycolysis such as phosphofructokinase 1 and hence substitute classic glycolysis with the antner dodrov pathway. Most organisms that use the pathway are aerobes due to low ATP yield per glucose.
those having veterinary importance are all Pseudomonas species and Alkaligen species. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a gram-negative bacterium, Azotobacter, a gram-negative bacterium, Rhizopium, a gram-negative bacterium, and Theracocus fecalis, a gram-positive bacterium, Cymomonas mobilis, a gram-negative facultative anaerobe, and Xanthomonas campris, a gram-negative bacterium, uses this pathway as main pathway for providing energy. Pentose phosphate pathway also called as phosphogluconate pathway or hexose monophosphate shunt is a process that generates NADPH and pentose sugars. There are two distinct phases in the pathway. One is oxidative phase in which NADPH is generated and second is non-oxidative phase in which there is synthesis of 5 carbon sugars. This pathway is an alternative to glycolysis. While it does involve oxidation of glucose, its primary role is anabolic rather than catabolic. For most organisms, it takes place in the cytosol. Dietary pentose sugars derived from the digestion of nucleic acids may be metabolized through the pentose phosphate pathway and the carbon skeletons of dietary carbohydrates may be converted into glycolytic or gluconeogenic intermediates. In a significant step, erythrocytes generate through the pentose phosphate pathway a large amount of NADPH used in the reduction of glutathione preventing oxidative stress. It reduces glutathione via glutathione reductase which converts reactive H2O2 into H2O by glutathione peroxidase. If absent, the H2O2 that is peroxidase, hydrogen peroxidase would be converted to hydroxyl free radicals which can attack the cell. Hydrogen peroxide is also generated for phagocytes. Many gram-negative ne enteric bacteria are capable of using both EMP and HMP pathway coupled with the TCA cycle to carry it out respiratory catabolism. Oxidative phase in this phase, two molecules of NADP plus are reduced to NADPH, utilizing the energy from the conversion of glucose 6-phosphate into ribulose 5-phosphate. Non-oxidative phase of pentose phosphate, phosphate pathway has been shown in the figure. The primary result of the pathway are the generation of reducing equivalence in the form of NADPH used in reductive biosynthesis reactions within cells and production of 5 ribose phosphate used in the synthesis of nucleotides and nucleic acids. The overall reaction for this process is glucose 6-phosphate plus 2 NADP plus H2O gives ribose 5-phosphate plus 2 NADPH plus 2 H plus plus carbon dioxide. Many catabolic biochemical processes such as glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, the beta oxidation produce the reduced coenzyme NADH. This coenzyme contains electrons that will release a large amount of energy upon oxidation. However, the cell does not release this energy all at once. Instead, the electrons are removed from NADH and passed to oxygen through a series of enzymes that each release a small amount of energy. This set of enzymes consisting of complexes 1 to 4 is 
called the electron transport chain and is found in the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. In aerobic organism and eukaryotes, a complex mechanism has evolved to use the oxygen in air as a final electron acceptor for respiration. Pyruvate is converted to acetyl-CoA and CO2 within the mitochondria in a process called pyruvate decarboxylation. The acetyl-CoA enters the citric acid cycle where it is fully oxidized to carbon dioxide and water producing yet more NADH. The NADH is oxidized to NAD plus by the electron transport chain using oxygen as a final electron acceptor and with the addition of two protons water is formed. This process creates a hydrogen ion gradient across the inner membrane of the mitochondria. The proton gradient is used to produce a large amount of ATP by the ATP synthesis enzyme in a process called oxidative phosphorylation. In contrast to the general similarity in structure and function of the electron transport chain in eukaryotes, bacteria and archaea possesses a large variety of electron transfer enzymes. In common with eukaryotes, prokaryotes electron transport uses the energy released from the oxidation of the substrate to pump ions across a membrane and generate an electrochemical gradient. The main difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic oxidative phosphorylation is that bacteria and archaea use many different substances to donate or accept electrons. This allows prokaryotes to grow under a wide variety of environmental conditions. Thanks for watching. Do like, comment and subscribe.